a lot of people in the uk will wish to have council houses compared to private houses just because of the benefit that it comes with uh, but most of the time they don't really know how to go about the whole procedure they don't even know or have an idea of where they should start from now if you will want to know all these in addition to how I got my council house in less than six months then I will say stick to this video to get to know more hello and you're most welcome to my channel my name is Celine and you can call me CJ now over here I speak a lot about things that happens with me in the UK and around me yes so if you find it helpful please do subscribe to my channel and that'll be appreciated those that have been subscribing to my channel i say thank you so much guys you don't know how happy you make me i'm i'm so so proud of you guys thank you so much for all the love love you too guys now let's get straight into today's video like i was saying i'm going to talk about how i got my council house actually in less than six months now council houses in the uk are houses that are actually owned by the government the government used these houses to help people with low income disability um people that actually have certain problems that they need help with accommodation the government uses these council houses to help them and uh, let's say single parent with kids and so on but if you're about to be on the street and you need help these are the houses that the government can actually help you to live in so you don't end up being on the street yes in the uk there are two places you can actually get houses that is from the private owners and that of the council so the, that that is it about the council houses now i'm sure you might be asking do i qualify or who qualifies in the uk if you've been living here legally for some years let me say if you've been living here legally all right and you have the right to work in the uk you have the right to like to to apply for a council house yes they need to know that you're not somebody who is if you have the right to live here and work here they can actually check your background and give them an idea of who you are and basically that's how you qualify yes <laughs> so the next thing I'm saying, uh, that what, what I will be talking about the council houses are, there are so many benefits that actually comes with the council houses. And number one is there are low rent houses. Let's say, compared to the private owners, um, let me say the council houses, you can actually pay way lower if you are not, if you're not getting support to pay uh, your rent. If you're paying the rent on your own it's way lower like it's very very low compared to the like other people that have their rent house from these private owners also if you get um let's say a council flat a council house and you live there for like three to five years whatsoever years the government actually and if the house is sellable okay you are able to actually buy the council house from the government that is if the, the house is sellable yes and with that you actually get um, a certain discount out of the house and then you can actually own the house after living there for like three or five three from five, three years actually you can own the house by paying the government and you will be the rightful owner of that particular house which is a good thing a house that you went to live in for some years now you become the owner of that house it's it's a big thing with a discount yeah the, the discount actually comes depending on how many years you've lived there so that's one benefit that comes with um living in in, in the council house or getting the council house um the next thing i would say is living in the council house is actually like a permanent thing when they, when you have the chance to get a council house hmm, <clears throat> you can actually live there for as long as you want the only thing is you might you, you must abide by the agreement when they were handling the keys over to you if you're able to keep up with that that is to say like um keeping up with the payment of the house um making sure like you're keeping the house in check everything is okay like just being okay in the house 
you don't have problems with your neighbors you're not quarreling with your neighbors you're not making extra noises you know your neighbors are not complaining about you and so on and forth and you're able to live there you're able to live there for like for as long as you want even maybe till you pass on <laughs> yes so it's 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 something big most people become so so excited when they get their council houses because they know there isn't going to be a day that a landlord will come over to say, oh, my cousin is coming over, so I want you to move because I'll be giving the house to my cousin whatsoever, all right? So that's one thing about the council houses. You kind of feel it is your own home forever. Yes, just abide by whatever agreement it was when you were signing the contract and you're good to go yes and these council houses are being given to you depending on um the rooms in the houses are given depending on the the number of your or how large your family is which is very good when you have a council house mostly it's not too much beautiful like let me say it's not beautiful most of them are not like they don't really come um very nice you know that kind of a thing so when you get it because they know it is a, a house for you for like permanent stuff you can renovate the house to your standard you can actually do a lot of things in the house change the house to how you really want the house to be because you've been living there for like forever if you want yes and like i was saying you only leave the council house when you want to leave that is by giving notice to them that you're okay, you want to leave the house and so on and so forth. So apart from that, nobody's going to ask you to leave your flat or your house if everything is okay. So that is one thing about the council house that is very, very good. You kind of feel you have a reliable home anytime that you, you're there, you feel more relaxed. Yes. So I'm sure somebody will say... How do I get it? How, where do I start? And so on and so forth. Now, most of the council, let me say every council, every area actually has a council, all right? And every council is there to listen to whatever you have, give you all the necessary assistance that you need, and so on. So wherever you're living, you can go to the council house and speak to them about your situation or talk to them about your situation and they can actually help you guide you through how to get the whole process started also you can go online and put in um the name of your council i live in paisley so i would say the referential council they will actually help you in all procedures and everything involving how to get a council house. They will advise you, like they're actually there to assist you. Nothing, nothing really else apart from helping you. Yes, so you can actually go to them, go to their office, get the help that you need, give them your story, they'll register you, and based on your situation, will determine how long you will have to wait to get your, um, like your your council house or your house or your flat whatever it may be okay and when you are doing this they actually give you the, the 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 chance to choose the areas that you would love to live okay so it's not like they're just picking anything and giving it to you you actually give them places you would like to get the house and this is one thing that is very good so when you're having everything you act they actually help you you can actually be doing the building yourself when when i say building is when you see a house and you like it you can and it's within the area you actually spoke about you can actually place an interest on it and then you'll be in a queue so normally what i say is if you're somebody who is interested in getting a council house i will advise the moment you have the interest don't wait just go and start your application or go online search whatever council that your um, your area falls under and start your application now because there are thousands of people waiting in the line okay so the earlier you put in your application the earlier you will 
get a house yes so if you put it in earlier it helps you because the more the more you wait the the like you stay long in the queue before it gets to your turn i was fortunate because i came from ukraine and you know coming from ukraine we kind of fall straight into the hands of the council because the council has to take us through everything direct us what to do take us through the whole system okay so because i was coming from ukraine um i have the ability to um let me see the opportunity actually for the council to help me straight i didn't have to go through so many things so the Immediately we came in, we had a, a temporal place to stay. And after that, right there, right there, the council started on our process of getting a council house. And that is why I had my, um, my council flat in less than six months. Why? Because I believe it was because the council did it themselves and because mm, they did it like... <laughs> earlier all right yes so the p all the people that are coming from ukraine that is one benefit you will also get you just have to um apply in time so you can get your permanent place now one thing about the council if you're getting homeless if they kind of feel you will be homeless there is always a temporal place they will put you so the council is actually there to help you whatever way okay so i will say that if you're here in the uk and you're suffering from something you kind of feel that some things are getting out of hands especially when you have kids don't sit there don't stay there don't you know people have this thing of being shy to ask for help but no don't do that if you do that and something happens to you or to your kids you might be blamed because they said you could have asked for help but you didn't you just kept quiet so for the sake of you and for your kids Whatever that you're going through, if you think it's so hard that you can handle, the council is always there to help you. It's not just about housing only. They can help you in whatever way that you want. So that is the benefit of having the council on your side. So that's how come I got my council house in, 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 in a quicker time. Yes. So not making this video too long, <laughs> I will say that um, I will be posting... Uh, a video of the house that I got and also after the renovation so if you really want to see how um, my council house is like I would say subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell so you can actually have to uh, you can actually be the first person to be notified when I bring a new video yes so please if you're in the uk and you're looking for ways to get your council house it's as easy as that like i stated go to your council there are oh there are office all around look for your council go to them and speak to them about your situation or you can sit in your own house and look for the council where you're living determines which council you belong to and then you can start um, your application online you don't have to go to their office but if you go there i kind of kind of feel it's better because you see somebody to talk to and they give you more information and which which will help your application so i will say um basically this is this is it this is how come i came about my council house and i'm so happy that the government is doing this much to help people i i really appreciate it because one thing I always say is if you're working and you're paying so much on rent, it drains you. And if you're to get a council house that you can pay very little, not very little, like not, not too, too little, but something very, very moderate, why not? So I will say just go and seek for help if you need help and get this council house done. And trust me, you will be as happy as I am today. I am so, so happy. And I say thank God for all his mercies his favors because if not for god i wouldn't have been here so guys i think <laughs> if i keep talking this video will not end so guys stay with me as uh, um subscribe to my channel <laughs> and look forward to the next video about my cancel house thank you so much and i believe this video was helpful to you if it was please give it a thumbs up subscribe and thank you god bless you till we meet again